I call to order the meeting of the 37th Ordinary Session of the Executive Council of the African Union. Allow me to begin by thanking you all for attending this meeting, albeit under extremely unusual circumstances. I would like to thank the Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Mr. Musa Faki Mohammed, and his team for organizing this session today. The importance of the issues confronting us as the organization and the urgency of making decisions during the session has left us with no option but to convene this ordinary session of the Executive Council despite the pandemic. And I wish to express my profound appreciation to all of you for accepting our call to be at this meeting today. We meet today under a new normal caused by the outbreak of the pandemic COVID-19. Our continent has lost more than 30,000 people due to the COVID-19 pandemic and more than 1.5 million people have been infected as of 12th October 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic, as you all know, has severely strained our already weak public health systems to their limits. It has also caused a devastating impact on our socioeconomic landscape thereby undermining the gains that we have made in the past two decades. It came as no surprise, therefore, that the economic forecasts have predicted that the continent will experience a recession this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And this will be for the first time in over two decades. These effects are felt by the entire global community and affect all our countries on the African continent. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as our world contends with a new normal and as we continue to navigate through the destruction that the pandemic has caused to the continent, we must nevertheless not despair. The COVID-19 pandemic provides us with a rare opportunity to reimagine the continent in the post-COVID-19 era. COVID-19 has forced all of us to develop new ways of addressing our challenges, of creating peace and security on the continent, of addressing socioeconomic underdevelopment and poverty. Despite the awful impact of this virus on our continent, our ability to work together and develop an African response has revealed an amazing African resilience in unity that we should use for addressing all the challenges of our continent. The areas in which action is desirable have been starkly revealed by the pandemic and we should seize the opportunity to strengthen our systems and our public institutions to ensure we build the ability to withstand such emergencies in future. We must never be found in the position in which the pandemic found us ever again. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, our continent has made huge strides in containing the spread of the virus. The achievements recorded thus far can be attributed to the proactive initiatives undertaken by all of us as an African collective under the decisive leadership of the African Union Bureau with the support of the chairs of our regional economic communities as well as the Chair of the African Union, His Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa. Underpinned 
by the joint continental COVID-19 strategy, the AU Bureau established the AU COVID-19 Response Fund and the African Union's Medical Supplies Pool Platform and took proactive measures to bolster the capacity of the Africa CDC and ensure its preparedness. The excellent work of the AU COVID-19 Special Envoys to marshal economic relief measures, including debt relief for African countries, should be supported throughout the continent. Dear Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, these efforts would not have been realized without the tireless efforts and utmost dedication of all members of the African Union Bureau, of all chairpersons of the regional economic communities, and of the African Union Commission under the leadership of His Excellency Mr. Musa Faki Mohammed, as well as the director of the African CDC, Dr. John Kengasong, who has been working closely with the World Health Organization in ensuring that the continental strategy is effectively implemented. We also must salute all our health workers in their support of the African response and their hard work in saving hundreds of thousands of lives on our continent. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue to wage the fight against the pandemic, we should not lose sight of the challenges that continue to face us as Africa. The ongoing conflicts in our continent, as well as the difficulties we continue to face in our collective quest to silence the guns by 2020. All of these must be a serious cause for concern to all of us, and they have to be addressed with the urgency and vigor that is necessary to overcome them. The impacts of climate change, of droughts, and of extreme levels of poverty and increasing numbers of unemployed on our continent continue to be barriers to development. And all of these require us to spare no effort or resources to ensure that the continent realizes its socioeconomic potential and its vision as outlined in our agenda 2063 of the Africa we want. Excellencies, these challenges need an African Union that is well resourced, efficient, and capable of addressing our challenges, which continue unabated even as we battle the pandemic. Our Union must develop its ability to support the continent in establishing functional institutions which can withstand any form of emergency. In this regard, one of the issues under discussion and consideration during this session will be the recommendations of the Permanent Representative Committee regarding the 2021 African Union budget, as well as an assessment of progress that has been achieved thus far in our Union's efforts to improve its financial management. Although the issue of the budget might be considered a technical matter, it's placing huge political responsibilities, not only on the AU Commission, but on our own Council and all of us as members of the African Union. The Chairperson of the African Union Commission will provide us with an update on the budget situation of the organization and its implications for the implementation of the priorities of the Union. The implementation of the Peace Fund 
is an aspect we will discuss. It is critical to the maintenance of peace and security in Africa. And thus, I have no doubt that the report of the High Representative on the Peace Fund will provide us with options and ways of sustaining this important fund as we proceed with our African agenda. Excellencies, we will also consider, as is custom during this session, what should occur in the year 2021, which is fast approaching. We are expected to discuss and consider the theme for 2021, which is entitled Arts, Culture and Heritage, Levers for Building a Prosperous, Peaceful, Integrated and Resilient Africa in the context of multi-sectoral challenges. This theme is a wonderful recognition of the contribution of arts, culture and heritage, serving as catalysts in our socioeconomic development priorities. I sincerely look forward to your contributions to our discussions and to the decisions that we will adopt as part of our intention to advance the goals and excellent objectives of our organization, the African Union. 